Number 39. Balance each of the following equations according to the half reaction method. And then we have letter A. Okay, so for this one, we have to balance SN2+, plus, which is aqueous, plus Cu2+, plus, which yields SN4+, plus and Cu+. Plus. Okay, so we've done tons of problems in which we learned how to balance half reactions, but now this is the first one in which we're actually doing a full-blown redox reaction. So we have to follow all of the steps now. So that's why I put them all down here. Now, if they don't tell you what solution you're in, right, this one just says a uh, balanced equation, like, you know, a reaction, and then it doesn't say, like, in acidic or basic solution, right? If it doesn't say any of that, just know that you're following the acidic solution balancing, okay? All right, so let's get down to it. The first thing that we have to do is we have to actually break this into half reactions. This, this is the easy part. All you're doing is you're just matching up the elements that go together. So for example, I have a SN, right? I have a tin on the left side and I have a tin on the right side. So I'm going to break that into one equation. That's one half reaction. And then I have my copper, which is a two plus on the left side. And then it's a, a one plus on the products. I have no idea what's going on outside. If you guys hear that noise, we're just going to keep rolling with it. <laughs> Distractions. Okay, so this is going on here, right? Okay, so let's write out these two half reactions. So the first one I have, and it doesn't matter which one you write first. So we have SN, 2 plus aqueous, and that will yield SN, 4 plus aqueous. And then the other one is Cu, 2 plus aqueous, and that yields Cu plus aqueous. Okay, so the first part is done. Now you're going to follow all of the steps and sa to save yourself time, you know, just make sure to do both of them at the same time. So you'll do like step two for both of these, then move on to step three, do it for both of them, step four, et cetera, et cetera. So now we're going to balance all the elements except for hydrogen and except for oxygen. But if I look in both of these, right, I don't see any hydrogen and I don't see any oxygen. So that's fine. But we have to balance the tin in the first one, and we have to balance the copper in the second one. Well, let's see. I have one tin on my left side, and I have one tin on my product side. So that's already balanced. I don't have to do anything. The same thing for the copper equation. I have one copper on my reactant side, and I have one copper on my product side. So they're already balanced. I don't have to do anything. So that's checked off. We just skip over that step. Now, the third step is to balance the oxygen, right? But if I look over here, I don't have any oxygen to balance. So I could skip over that. Pretty neat. Step four is to always balance the hydrogen. But once again, I don't have any hydrogen. So I can just skip over that. Now we come to the lovely uh, part where we have to balance the charges. This we always have to do. So we always balance the charges by adding electrons. And remember, electrons are E negative, right? They're negatively charged. And you're always going to add uh, the electrons to the more positive side of the half reaction. So you gotta do this twice. So remember, just like we did before, we like to draw that line down the middle. And you work with one equation at a time. So I'll do the top one first. What's the overall charge on the left-hand side? Well, I see that I have a 2 plus, right? And I only have one tin, so my overall charge would be a plus 2. Okay, we do that the same for the right side. Well, I see that I have a plus 4, right? And I only have one of them, so my overall charge would be a plus 4. Okay, now we use these numbers to determine where you're going to add those electrons you always add them to the more positive side. So out of a two and a four, which one is more positive? Yeah, it's this side, right? So I know I'm gonna add the electrons here, and you always add as many to get down to the lower number. 
So how many electrons would, would I need, or how many numbers is it different between a plus four and a plus two, if you think of it as a number line? Yeah, there's two electrons, right? There's two numbers different. So that's fine for the top one. Now we got to do the same for the bottom. So let's see. I see that I have a plus two in the upper right-hand corner. I only have one copper, so my overall positive, or my overall charge would be a plus two here. Okay. Then I do the same for this side. I see that I have just a plus here. Whoop. And that's assumed that it's a plus one. I only have one of these. So my overall charge would be a plus one. And now we do the same. This side is now more positive. So I know that I have to add the electrons here. And how many numbers difference is it from a plus two to a plus one? Yeah, only one, right? So I would say just plus one electron. Now here is a checkpoint, guys. Just make sure that the electrons that you added are always on opposite sides. So if you do this, you know, and you wind up that you have like two electrons and they're both on the same side of the equation, go back. Something went wrong. They have to be on opposite sides. So since they're on opposite sides, we're good. Number five is done. Now we're doing something new. We're balancing those electrons. I have to make these numbers the same. I have two electrons on the top and one electron on the bottom. You will make them the same by getting them to both the lowest number possible and by multiplication. So let's see, I have a one and a two. Well, by multiplication, I can just times this by two, right? One, two times one is two, but I gotta be fair. I have to multiply the whole equation by two. So now it's getting changed, all right? So if I'm, let's see, um, I just wanna make this nice and neat for you guys. So I'm just gonna erase this. We don't need this, this like little handy dandy math anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Technically we don't need the line anymore either. So I'll get rid of that as well. Okay, just so that it looks nicer. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this two and multiply it by all of the numbers, right? And you only touch the coefficients, the numbers in the front. So let's see, two times one, this would turn into a two, right? So I'll just write that down on the bottom here. So I, now I have two E minus plus two times one is two copper. So now I have two Cu plus, and that's an aqueous, yields, right? And then I have one copper, but now it's being multiplied by two. So two Cu plus one aqueous. And now this one goes bye-bye. So once you do your the math and you distribute, get rid of it. And now you have a new equation that we're working with here. And now the electrons are balanced. Do you see that? So this is done. Now for the last thing, or almost the last thing, you cancel out the like substances. So all you're doing is you're just simplifying. Anything that you can cancel out, you will. So that's why you have to get the same number of electrons because you want them to cancel. And since they're on opposite sides, canceling is cool. So bye-bye and bye-bye. But now if I look at anything else, right, I, I don't see anything else that I can cancel. Everything else is unique. So now all I gotta do is rewrite it as one whole equation. Everything on the left-hand side stays, everything on the right-hand side stays, and when I say left and right-hand side, I mean left of the um, yield sign and the right of the yield sign. So I only have these two on the left, and then I have these, right, on the right. So you just match them up. So we have Sn, two plus, and that's aqueous, plus Cu2 plus, and I don't care whether you put the copper in the front or the copper in, in the back of this side, it doesn't matter. I just like to go from top to bottom. So then Sn4 plus, and then two Cu plus one. And there you go. This one is now nice and balanced. Woohoo!
And that's your final equation. So just remember the steps, guys. The steps just makes it easy to balance. In this case, all we had to do was just put a two in front of here. It seemed harder than you know what we actually had to do, but if we just memorize the steps, everything would be cool and good. Yeah? Okie dokie. Hopefully this helps. Let me know in the comments what you thought. We got tons more of this, so practice, 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 and I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Thank you for tuning in. See you later. Bye-bye.